Well, earlier in the show, we talked about mindfulness and how our children need to learn it early in life. Well, another lesson best taught early is perseverance. Our next guest learned that lesson growing up and it inspired her to give back to her community one life at a time. Joining us today is founder and executive director of Pathways to Success, Faye Blake, and she is joined by outreach coordinator, Sarah Gilmore. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Okay, Faye, I wanna, I wanna start with you. You've got quite a story, but um, how did you go from a successful banking career to spearheading a program for, for at-risk children. Okay, um, I had a wonderful career and enjoyed it. All my kids went to college and I got to a point where I thought, okay, now I can take a breather and what can I do to give back? Um, because my upbringing was that you really want to try to sow seeds and give back to others. Um, and so I had an opportunity to go ahead and retire and I thought, okay, how do I do this? And I really thought about some of the things that happened with me when I was younger. Uh, my grandmother and some of the wonderful words of wisdom that she gave. And so I thought, well, let me see if we can't do something to help some other kids that were kind of like I was when I was growing up. And so that's really how Pathways to Success was born, just out of a need to give back and to help some kids along the way. Um, you know, when you look back, you always want to have, you look back and you say, okay, who was there for me? And some of these kids in the underserved neighborhoods don't really have anybody solid. So Pathways becomes that solid partner with them and their families. And so that's part of how it all began. Mm. So, so what are some of the things that Pathways does? Well, one of the things that we do is we start working with kids when they're in the ninth grade. And the reason why we do the ninth grade is because throughout the country, not just in Delaware or in Sussex County or wherever, ninth grade tends to be the highest dropout rate. So what we do is we don't take the place of parents, but here's what we do. We know that kids have to be in school in order to learn and they have to do homework. So one of the things that we, well two of the things that we do is this, we make sure that you show up to school because if you miss school, if you're in our program three days in a row, I will knock on your door. Mm. I literally go into the neighborhoods and knock on the door. And I'm gonna tell you, a lot of people raise their eyebrows like, oh my God, you're going to knock on doors. And yes, I am. Because people need to understand and these kids need to understand that somebody cares about them and that they're missed. So we knock on doors and I also look at grades. I look at whether you turn your homework in. Um, and it's not just me. I have a group of wonderful people who are literally in the schools every day that the kids are in the schools. They're our coordinators. Um, and so they also check grades and monitor things. And we're there to be a sounding board for the kids. And you stick with the kids oh, through graduation. Yes, mm -hmm. we start in ninth grade and we work with the kids until they graduate high school and a year after that. Part of our job is to not only help them academically, but help them with social skills as well, but also that transition into adulthood where they could get off track again. So we really help them, prov we provide a pathway, whether it's college, the military, or helping them find full-time jobs and get various skills and certificates. I would be willing to bet you have got a bunch of them calling you mom. I'm just, <laughs> yes. I'm just yes. here. Okay, so Sarah, you've got a fundraising event coming up to help Pathways. What's going on? That's right. Um, Gretchen Hansen, who used to own a restaurant um, down in Rehoboth, is having a big birthday coming up. So she placed on Facebook, um, what do you think I should do for my birthday? And a lot of people responded by saying, why don't you give back? And she thought that was a wonderful idea. So she says, well, who should I give back to? And a few of my friends, Pathways friends, said Pathways to Success. And then other people said other organizations. And she says, I'll tell you what by this time on a certain day, whoever has the most votes, I will support. Oh. Ah. And we got the most votes. How about yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's on February 1st. It's at Grotto Pizza on the Avenue. Um, there is a coupon that people have to have when they come in, mm -hmm. which is available, guess what, mm -hmm. on our Facebook page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, it's, um, 
it's uh, Pathways to Success is the uh, Facebook, Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, uh -huh. we will have all of that. You don't have to memorize all of that because uh -huh. what we're going to do is we're going to put it on our website so folks can oh, just great. go there. Oh, and, great. And, great. And also, uh, folks can, can reach out to you because I imagine you're always needing volunteers. Oh, yes, in indeed. Group. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Volunteers, absolutely. donations, absolutely. Because there are a lot of kids out there who really need help. I mean, we serve about 200 kids in three different high schools right now. But Pathways' goal really is to be that support system for kids throughout Delaware. I mean, we really do have a really, you know, big goal. Yeah. Um, but I really believe that what we do and how we do it is predicated on something we call care. We give consistent, authentic, respectful empowerment. And the key thing is respect and empowerment. Many of the kids live in underserved areas and don't have. And along with that comes chronic stress. Mm -hmm. um, and that chronic stress actually leads them not to be able to act and react in a particular way in school. That stress doesn't just drop off when you hit the door. Right. Many of these kids haven't slept, they don't have food, mm. they're listening to fights all night, you know, they don't even know whether they're gonna have a home to come back to Maybe sometimes. There's a lot of things that's going on and what we way. really, really try to do is to make sure that they have a safe place and they know that there are people out there who really care and so we do try to inspire Consistent, them Faith, thank you. authentic respectful respectful empowerment, empowerment. care care yeah. thank, thank you so much so Sarah, welcome. thank you so much thank for you. all you do and I, uh, good luck yes. with your fundraising